Jenna, who um, from Arts and Crafts, who I've known now and then and has been a client for a little while. She approached me about doing the t-shirt project for Arts and Crafts. I really relate to the spirit of collaboration and community that they that they are known for and that, and that makes up their history. Um, and I think they respond to sort of similar elements. Um, in my work, I often work with um, with artists, friends of mine, people who I know and collect and you know hang out with. We kind of landed on on the five specific artists: Feist, Broken Social Scene, Timber Timber, Dan Mangan, and then a kind of bucket shirt for the for the label as a whole. And then, um, based on feelings and ideas, and 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 I kind of like aesthetic qualities of of each artist and the kind of world they represent, the kind of work they do. I'm trying to align that sensibility uh, in in a fairly direct but also somewhat surprising way, I hope, with um, with some contemporary visual artists. Um, Neil McClelland, he, he uh, has this really cool kind of a uh, little bit of a raw, undone, slightly darker aesthetic, um, and it made perfect sense, I think, with, uh, with Timber Timber. I had a studio in my apartment, a studio room, and then I realized I could go on the roof, so I did a lot of, like, paintings that I could just do outside in this big sprawling roof and one of them was just I took apart the chimney and I put the chimney the bricks from the chimney on top of a piece of canvas and let it just weather for like from June till October and that was the piece that I used for the timber timber one uh, like so the, the actual piece is just the bricks were removed and the canvas it, they left these like it looks like a print of the brick on on canvas and then what we did in a kind of opposite process is inverted that and, and did, that did it in a reductive way. So did it in a, like a bleach print on the t-shirt as a way of coming sort of full circle on, on, um, on his process, both something that adds to it in a natural organic way and then something that is removing that same thing. So you're left with a kind of positive and negative. These are some of the pieces from Sojourner Truth Parsons that we used for the Feist t-shirt. Sojo and Feist are friends, they've known each other for a long time. And so there's some natural affinities there between the two of them. Um, kind of like tinged, delicate sensibility. Feminine, but with some surprising strength and guts. So these pieces are, are cutouts, like sort of silhouettes. And each of these are made with uh, with the kind of like a wax soaked paper, incorporating elements like human hair, dried flowers. So the idea was this beautiful little danse macabre all over the shirt. So it was sort of interesting, interesting way to think about how, how you compare visual art with, with a musician, with a band. Sometimes in ways that seem really clear, and then, and then also, you know, sometimes just with a sort of sense of a feeling. Now you make me my arms so small.